All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for this month's October updates on Aruna Belize. This is probably one of the most exciting updates that we have done so far. There's been a lot going on in the community. You'll see a lot of pictures, more construction that's happening, more homes that are getting sold. And we're really starting to see the development take shape. And I know for those of you who are looking at pre-construction or thinking about pre-construction, one of the most important things that we have to factor in when looking at a property is, is the progress. Is there progress? How is that progress going? Is it going according to schedule? Is it going a little delayed? Uh, what does it look like? And so that's really the point of our updates here month to month. You can see what's going on. You can see the progress that has happened over the last 30 or so days. My name is Rachel Jensen. I'm the broker owner of Luna Realty Belize here on Ambergris Key. This is home. I'm originally from New York, but have lived here for the last 11 years. So this really, yeah, uh, this really is home. And this is where we've uh, established ourselves. And obviously we have the real estate brokerage, which we're really excited to be sharing these sort of opportunities with you through. So if you are new to Aruna, I'm not going to be giving you a whole overview about the project. We did that last week or two weeks ago. And I'll be happy to send you the link, but just as an overview, this is a canal front community located about five minutes by boat from San Pedro town or about a 15 minute drive from the heart or from the heart, the heart of, of secret beach, we'll say from the West side of the Island. And this community was really designed to be something different here on the Island. On the Island, you find a lot of condo buildings, you find a lot of taller structures that are going up, uh, but here we really coupled I would say the ambiance, the, 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 the Belize life here with just really comfortable, well-built homes. And so you will see that part of the building and part of the, the overall view and, and vision of this property is to have lush landscaping. It is to have community elements for the owners and the guests to enjoy. And you'll start to see that here as we come through. So I was mentioning to the, you the location, located on the west side of the island. And A, letter A is where Aruna is. And then you can see that it does have a road to Secret Beach. This is great because everything south of Aruna, follow my cursor here, everything south of Aruna really is just boat access because the road stops at Aruna. So you do have road access. You also have boat access where I'm sitting at is right over here by letter B in the heart of San Pedro town. But what really makes this area unique is the fact that it is up and coming. There's actually a lot of development and construction that's happening within this area between H and A over here, which has been very, very exciting to see. But this property, it's close enough to everything, but far enough away where you're not necessarily in the heart of it, right? You're not in the downtown area, but you can have access to downtown should you choose. So we're gonna go through the updates happening in the three phases here. I have highlighted the three phases for you. Phase one, follow my cursor, consists of 14 homes. Phase two, located right over here. Uh, phase two is sold out at this point. And then phase three, which is what we launched fairly recently, a week or two ago, which is going through pre-construction sales right now. And then follow my cursor again, we are gonna be talking about the bar and restaurant area where there's the pool, the restaurant, the bar, lounging space because there's been a lot of progress that have been ha that has been happening there as well. So over the last four weeks, the construction started on the remaining phase one homes. I'm gonna go back for a second. So these four homes here were not yet constructed. Over the last few months, we ordered the material for it. It is a prefab steel cut construction. So it takes about three to four months in the factory. It takes about a month to get here from Central America. And then once it lands in Belize, it starts to go vertical. So we did receive the steel for these homes. T18 has been the one that started first. And so you'll see some pictures of that, which is really exciting. In addition to that, we are preparing for early next year to have the restaurant be open. And the restaurant is located right over here at the end of the pier. You'll see some pictures. So over the last few weeks, we've had the point of sale, the POS system set up at the restaurant and the training for staff and team members on how to use that POS system. And then also getting the kitchen set up with all the equipment that's arrived. And this one's my favorite here. The next bullet is the taste testing that has happened with Chef Carlos. So the chef was here on site doing different dishes, letting the team taste the different dishes to see what it is that they liked. One of the big focuses of this community is going to be the restaurant area. And so having good food, that breakfast, lunch, and dinner, making it a destination for people to come to is really a, a key element, a critical element within the community as well. In addition to that, there was further work on the lounge area of the pier, uh, new chairs, new umbrellas, 
uh, new cushions that have been then brought in to make it comfortable for people to be enjoying murals. I mentioned to you over the last few months that LV, who's a local artist, she has been the one working on the murals. There's one more to go, but everything else at this point is completed. And then more landscaping is going up between the two, uh, between the homes there within phase one. And like I was mentioning, you have that lush landscape uh, while just having a really clean Tulum inspired look, I would say is what you can expect when you come to Aruna. So I mentioned to you that the last four homes within phase one have started to be worked on. The foundations were finished last month. And now you can see here with the prefab steel cut construction, it's kind of like Legos in a sense where the pieces come and then the assembly happens pretty quickly. And then it takes a couple of months thereafter to get the finishes to it. But you can start to see this is the Kokora model, which is the tiny home model that has been started to go vertical there within phase one. In addition to that, I was mentioning to you the restaurant space. This is at Akasha, the restaurant. Uh, and as you can see, just by looking around the windows there, this is on the pier. This is on the second floor of the pier. First floor is where there's the pool, the lounge area, bar area, kitchen. Second floor is the restaurant. And then third floor is additional lounge space, which can be used as a yoga platform. It can be used for massages. A lot of opportunity there. It can be used as a lounge upstairs as well. Uh, all of the restaurant equipment has arrived to the island more or less all of it there's always something else to get but uh, the kitchen staff has started to organize it do inventory and then as we mentioned before chef carlos was here to uh, do some taste testing with the team and really start to prepare the menu so that by the time the hotel is, is fully opened in the beginning of next year the menu will be ready as well so that was really quite exciting to see that and then I mentioned also that there's the additional landscaping that's going in between the phase one homes. So you can see some holes here. That's where the additional plants will go. And uh, again, just bringing that lush green element. So we do still have two properties within phase one that are available for ownership. The rest of them are sold out. One of them is the studio model going for $239.9, including the furniture. This is located, like I mentioned, on the canal. So you do have the water views as you're looking out. This is ideal for somebody who's looking for cash flow sooner rather than later, because phase one will be opening up to rentals sooner rather than later, especially compared to phase two or phase three. And then this is one that I've mentioned before, but I think it's an absolute winner within the property. It's geared towards somebody who's looking at cash flow. It is a duplex style, so you have two studio models. You can add an outdoor kitchen if you want a full kitchen. It does come with that rooftop veranda space, so a really great option for somebody who is looking to serve the rental market and just have something a little bit different. This one is located on the garden side, but it has bay views, uh, unobstructed bay views, so you will be able to see the water even though you're not directly there on the canal side. And then if you wanted to do some upgrades to it, like a rooftop wet bar, you're able to do that as well. This one's going for $330, $329.9, and furniture is included here too. Now, I'm not really getting into the specifics of, of these product of the available opportunities because we did have that webinar a couple of weeks ago. Happy to send you the link, happy to send you the availability charts and what's currently available and pricing and what's included in HOA and all those details. You can always just reach out to us there at info at lunarealtybelize.com, info at lunarealtybelize.com, and we will get those to you. All right, so I wanted to jump into phase two. So at this point, phase two is all sold out and construction is going vertical within phase two. We have tiny home models, loft tiny home models, a two and a three bedroom home. And then follow my cursor over here is the green space. And in this green space over here, that's where there'll be the playground. There'll be uh, an outdoor gym. There'll also be a pickleball court there. So very convenient for folks who are within phase one and phase two to have easy access to a handful of the amenities. Additional amenities will be added within phase three. So as you can see here and within phase two, construction is vertical. And this was something I know that we've been talking about for a while because it does take a little bit of time for the steel to be completed in the factory, right? It's not something where it just happens overnight. It is a three to four month process, it takes about a month to get here. Um, in the meantime, they do work on the foundations so that by the time the steel arrives, they just have to start erecting it, which uh, you can see they have started here from uh, from the photo. And these are two of the Kokora models, which are those tiny home loft models. And so just to see a little bit more, and then phase two will continue down the property over here. And then phase three will be on the other side. But as you can see too, there's another foundation that they're working on. And then there are two more foundations 
uh, that were just about finished over here for Kakor, and there's the two and three bottle, two and three bedroom models that are getting constructed just on the other side there. So it's looking really, really good. It's been exciting to go over and see the progress and uh, just to see everything really moving along. All right, we're gonna jump over to phase three. So phase three is located across the canal from phase one and phase two. And we did launch phase three a couple of weeks ago. We have condo options now, two-story condos that are starting at 179.9. And then there's also a custom home that has become available here, E1, uh, which is, I think, a very highly desirable location. It's in a prime location. It's a three bed, three bath. I'll have some renderings uh, for folks who want to see it. But uh, this is a really neat community here. And then C, this one over here, C11B, this one sold. And then C16, those are sold as well. But within the phase three community, there is the retaining wall that has been started and has made really good headway. Obviously it's important to have a retaining wall when you're building on or by the water. Um, and so that has been worked on. In addition, we're expected to start construction next quarter, quarter one of 2024, and then estimated timeline of completion of these homes is anywhere from 12 to 16 months. So if you're someone who needs a little bit more time to get funds prepared, or you have a little bit more time to wait, then this could be a really great phase for you. If you're someone who needs it, that cash flow like right now, then phase one is the right option, right? But if you're somebody who prefers a longer time or a longer period to pay for your home and you're maybe looking for a little bit of customization, this could be the option for you. Uh, but again, you'll have to just wait a little bit. I think there are a lot of pros with pre-construction, you being the, the first one to be able to uh, to occupy it, be able to do a little bit of customization, but I also have worked with developers for a while. And so I know sometimes it takes a little bit longer than they anticipated. Doesn't mean it's bad by any means, but uh, you just have to, of course, be patient. And then within phase three, there'll be more commercial spaces, the kiosks, uh, yoga platform right over in this area and where you can see that drawbridge walkway that will be added to have that easier access to go back and forth between the amenity sides over here. So I mentioned to you the retaining wall. So here are some photos of what's been installed so far of, uh, of the retaining wall. And then here's just a little bit more of an overview of the different lots and locations. So the property, this doesn't show the entire phase three. Phase three continues down a little bit more, but you can see it's paralleling the phase one homes and it does continue to parallel the phase two homes, uh, but we just don't have that full, that full bird's eye view right over here. And then the, I mentioned to you that E1 location, custom three bedroom home right over here. Uh, it's beautiful. I think it's it's just very unique. It offers something different. It also has a duplex style to it. So the rooftop or the, the second story can be rented out individually and the bottom floor can be rented out separately as well. But continuing down the line over here, two three bedroom options, more tiny homes, future aplex, uh, which is that condo style for condos per floor. And I think the condos are a great way for somebody who's looking for entry pricing into a development. Uh, I know just based on the market here that it's really difficult to find properties under 200,000. And so if you're somebody who that's really the range that you wanna stay in, maybe with some financing, then uh, you can take advantage of the developer financing for any of these, but the condos are a great place to start. And so you can see that this drone was taken about a month ago, a little bit less than a month ago. So we didn't capture all of the construction that was going on, but at least it gives you a little bit more of an insight as to the property. All right, so the phase three models, you've seen these before, if you've been following us, they range from tiny homes, the studio size, a loft tiny home, and then also two and the three bedroom models. Please note that I know a lot of people listen to this on YouTube, prices are only valid until the end of 2023 or until they sell out. So I don't know what the prices are going to be in 2024, but I just like to make that part very clear. Um, and they also do not include closing or furniture. So just reach out to us if you are looking for more information there. But it's nice. There's a whole spectrum of properties, right? Depending on what it is you're looking for. And with this project specifically, I mentioned it earlier is, you know, the goal isn't to have incredibly high density in a really small area. It's to still have a little bit of space, have your single family home if you want to have the entry price condos if you're looking to get into a community like this, but not be breaking the bank to do so. And so just as it's really, I don't know, personally, I find it to be like a very calming location because you're not in the heart of downtown, but you are within a community that's well thought out and being developed well. 
And this is that E1 custom three bedroom home that I mentioned to you. Um, it was it was uh, just part, it was kind of purchased, uh, but unfortunately the person was not able to move forward with the down payment. So it is available at this point. There is still some room for some customizations to choose, uh, but we are planning to move forward with this home in the location. If you are interested, reach out to me info at lunarealtybelize.com and we will get you those details. But it's really quite nice. There's the pool, there's also a fire pit area. And then also mentioned to you that the downstairs can be rented independently of the top. So you still have that duplex option there. And because you are located there close to the bay, you have really, really beautiful views. All right, and then we talked about also the condos in our last session. So here you'll see the exterior. They are one bedroom and studio models. However, there is a connecting door if you are looking for it to be a two bedroom model, as you can see right here. So technically it can be a duplex. The one bedrooms overlook the canal, the studios overlook the gardens. And I was able to convince the developer to do those entry pricing for this building. Obviously future buildings will be more expensive, but the garden studios start at 179 and then the canal one bedrooms start at 249.9, which I think is just a real steal for property on where you have water views and uh, just well built out and, and well furnished. So this is the, the studio model that I was mentioning to you on the first floor going for 179.9 and it's quite large for a studio at almost 650 square feet but you do have the kitchenette. You can see if you're on the second floor, you have those really high ceilings giving you the feel that the property and the home is, is larger than it actually is. And then it has a really nice veranda space in Belize, we tend to live outside. So there's tons of uh, tons of balcony space for you to enjoy all in. If you're on the first floor, you're looking about uh, under 190, which again, I think is an absolute bargain right now on the island. It's very, very difficult to find something that is worth living in um, under 200,000 that has a water view. And then the Kosha, this is the one bedroom model. So this one is a little over 650 square feet, but if you're somebody who's thinking about relocating, perhaps having access to a full kitchen, this would probably be the better option for you compared to the studio model. And this one, they do all overlook the canal. So all in, um, if you're on the first floor, you're looking at about 262. And then again, do note, and that's the furniture, it doesn't include closing costs, but that includes the furniture. And then do note that there is financing, developer financing short-term available if you are interested. So I'm not gonna go through all this. This was all something that we covered in the session a couple of weeks ago, but if you are interested in more details, feel free to let us know. I know that the construction methodology is asked about quite a bit. And so this was just a breakdown. Uh, sometimes people ask about it. Sometimes you're like, you know what? I don't care as long as it's durable. Um, but for those of you who do care, this is the methodology that's used. I mentioned it's like Legos in the sense with the prefab steel cut construction. So it's essentially galvanized steel frame, which is cut in the factory I mentioned to you that takes a couple of months. And then from there, there's light wall panels, which are then insulated with the thermoacoustic insulation. And then it's cast with 1.5 inches of concrete. So very well insulated. And then there's thermal panel roofing as well. We have a whole brochure on this if you are interested in learning more about this actual structure and process. But uh, for those of you who don't really care or you know maybe it just doesn't get you as excited as others, um, it is built to hurricane category four standards. So that's what I wanted to mention. It's very well insulated as well. That's a question that we got quite a bit and, uh, and just a really unique method of construction here. So if you are interested in seeing the property, and we are starting to enter high season now. And high season is when there are a lot of people coming down here to look at properties. And obviously, you know, inventory, especially right now, we're seeing isn't on the market for a long time, especially properties that are priced well and desirable. And I know this property gets a lot of eyes on it. So if you are interested, feel free to reach out to us. We'll do a virtual Zoom tour with you if you're not able to get down here in person. And I do have a complete availability um, brochure which shows floor plans, pricing, of course, the availability an FAQ guide so that you can learn as much about this property as possible. And then, like I mentioned, if you're not able to come down, let's do that Zoom tour. Let's take a look at the property through our phones so that you can get a handle on it. Um, I know that we do have a lot of media as well, if you would like to see that. But you know, our goal here really is to just share the information with folks. And then if it makes sense to you to reach out to us. Uh, we have a wonderful team here on site here in Belize on Ambergris Key 
who, uh, who are happy to help you and assist you find the right property for you. So with that being said, I'm going to just think right about the 20 minute mark. Yeah, about the 20 minute mark. So I just wanted to thank everybody for joining us for the, for those of you who joined us live and then those who are listening afterwards on YouTube. Thank you. Do don't be a stranger. We'd love to hear from you. Love to have your input. And then also just understand a little bit more about what it is you're looking for and what you'd like to accomplish. Best email address to reach us, info at lunarealtybelize.com, info at lunarealtybelize.com. And we look forward to hearing from you. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much.